Hello respected people. And welcome back to our respected minister channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and participate in the discussion. Julian Hill tweet. My beautiful community is one of the most diverse in Australia. With people of greater than 100 different faith groups who engage widely in our nation's political processes. The PM is 100% correct. Faith-based political parties would be a terrible thing for and minority groups. I miss my lawn. Julian, this is so disingenuous. Firstly, I am a Christian, so this isn't about my religion, but to point at Muslims and say, "Hey, you lot, check your faith at the door." While we literally had a Bible bashing freak as our last PM, says a lot about what faiths are and aren't tolerated. Mike Hutchinson. A faith-based parliament is also a terrible thing, which is why the daily opening purportedly Christian prayers should be junked. Omar Abbas. LOL. PM is 100% correct to target Muslims. Faith-based political parties never existed and don't exist now. Can't wait to share this in WhatsApp groups with my Victorian family and friends. GG. In our democracy, we have separation of church and state. Islam supports a theocracy. It does not separate religion from politics. I have never heard vile hate-filled sermons coming from churches, mosques, however. Black semi-fascist. LMAO. The only thing the Lion King is worried about is losing Western Sydney seats with big Muslim bidding blocks. He gifted a plum two hundred and fifty thousand dollar spot to Payment Cos. She's a female Muslim refugee. She returned the favor with disloyalty. DEI doesn't work. Alexander. Julian Shill talks garbage as usual. Diversity has proved a bit of a weakness, mate. We had a fantastic multicultural country. Labor has stuffed it. Thank, Shill. Pamela Spence. I guess he's putting out the fires. If the senator was not a Muslim, it would be a different story. Crossing the floor on humanitarian reasons is more than acceptable. This was never a faith-based decision, and he knows it. This is now a very divisive issue impacting ALP supporters. This concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Please hit the subscribe button. It's free.